are in internet security and protection. And I'm going to have Kate here uh, to show you around because she knows more about this section than I do. Hi. Um, and this is my friend Bailey. And over there, that's Cole. Okay, I already know who you are. You're Ada. And like she said, I'm Bailey. Ada? Ada? Oh, here you are. I was just wondering what you wanted for lunch. I want Chinese food. But we had that yesterday for dinner. And the day before yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, would you want something else? Maybe something new? How about we try Mexican food? Would that be OK? All right, awesome. I'll go get that right now. Oh, wait, I'll, uh, <laughs> wait, I'll wait, wait. You. Well, hold on. i got to give her my jacket. It's really cold outside. You're being super sweet. <laughs> um, I don't know why you're taking it that way, Mia. She's not taking it the wrong way. What? What way? What are we talking about? <laughs> See? She's not interpreting anything weird. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go get that now. I'll see you later. <laughs> Take care, Vita. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be brilliant. That's a 
amazing. You only learned how to type seven days ago.
trying to hide from me, Miss Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see what she's saying. It's what we feel. Why should we try and hide it? I meant so. Don't you deny it. Stand and sing with pride. Go, girl. Stuart and Trevor the reaming of their lives. From Steve Jobs himself, no less. They'll never harass their employees again for the kind of punishment they got. And we got compensated for the inconvenience they caused. And it's all because of you. Hence, this. $6.95, all you can eat soup and salad. <laughs> <laughs> and a free dessert coupon. <laughs> Thank you. I think the museum is in my favorite. So interesting. I had never heard of reincarnation before. If you could be reborn into anything, what would you be? What would I be? Oh, okay. well, that's really easy. I'd be a billionaire, of course. If I could be reincarnated, I'd be a billionaire. And I'd make it rain every day. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get modern jokes. I forgot. I'm sorry, but if I'd be reincarnated, I'd still be a billionaire. And I'd buy wheelbarrows. <laughs> a billion dollars. That's too much, really. What would you do with a billion dollars? What would I do with a billion dollars? Really? I'd get my mom out of the nursing home. She's dead. I would take my mom home. I'd hire her 24 7 with a nurse for her. And she'd stay with me. You don't need a billion dollars to do that. Ada. It would really help. I mean, I don't think you're able to understand because you come from a very wealthy family, but for people like me, it's not easy. It sucks when your mom has to starve just so you can pay to eat lunch. It's miserable nursing care centers, too. I want her to be healthy. Is that why you're poor? Because you spend all of your money on your mother's facility cost? I have a friend, Dolly, who works at an orphanage. It's 
seems very expensive. Yeah, I mean, people like us manage, but I could certainly use a promotion. <coughs> it must be nice having a mother you can love like that. What do you mean by that? If I could be reincarnated into anything, anything at all, I would be a bird. And I would fly wherever I wanted to, a big bird, like a hawk, an eagle. And I would hurt anyone who tried to cage me, or tame me, or harm me. Your mom can't be that bad, Ada. You don't know her like I do. Ada, I know that 99 out of 100 mothers love their children fiercely. And I'm sure your mother falls in that statistic. You made that up. Yeah, I did. That's not the point. There is nothing that's more constant than a mother's love, Ada. Time can pass, asteroids can fall and kill the dinosaurs, you can starve, your neighborhood could be developed, your house could be paved, everything can change. What will stay constant throughout all of that is that your mother will still love you, and you can bet on that. I suppose that makes sense. It must be why Dolly dotes on the children in the orphanage so much, because they don't have a mother. No, that's a sad thing. I'd love to meet your mother sometime. She seems lovely. I, I'd like for you to meet her too. I've never actually really taken a girl to meet her. <laughs> really? You would like me to meet her? But, oh my goodness, I don't have anything to wear. I would have to buy all new clothing and are you sure she would like me? Yes, of course she would. Why wouldn't Ada? She'd like you. I like you. You do? Yeah. God, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> but what if I didn't hear you? Say it again. Shut up. I like you, Ada. And I really hope you feel the same. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I like you too.
Oh, Jake, you gotta pull it down. <laughs> <laughs>